Hey, let's go biking. I'm here again. Talk about my Surly. I got it. It's out of the box. It's all put together. Let's go riding. All right. So some of you guys probably already know that I'm a Trek dealer or Sprocket's Bicycle Shop is a Trek dealer. We've been a Trek dealer for 23 years. And why didn't I get the Trek 520? Well, probably everybody knows or maybe people don't know, but the 520 was discontinued. And in fact, Trek is gonna discontinue all of their steel framed bicycles. Uh, so that pushed me into getting a bike like Surly. And that's what I wanted was more of a touring bike, longer footing stand, oh, I messed up, but anyways. But what Trek is trying to push now is the checkpoint, which is a gravel bike. It's not really a touring bike. You, it is, does have mounts. You can put a rack on here. You can put the bags on here. It does have room for bags in here. It has room for anything you want to put on the front rack and it has room for bags. But the one main thing I don't like about the checkpoint as a touring bike is the space between your panniers and your feet. You don't have a lot of room back here and it comes with a one by. Now the industry is moving more towards a one by and as an old guy who has always had a double or a triple, I'm just not sold on the one by and I don't wanna be trying to get up hills in, I guess it would be Arizona, New Mexico and California and uh, just having to push my bike. So I'm not sold on this, and I haven't seen any reviews on people actually touring, doing the Southern Tiers on a gravel bike. Most of the stuff I see is people doing riding in the woods. So anyways, that's my take, and that's my excuse for not getting a Trek. I would have got the 520 though. Well, I finally got the bike. I got it all put together. I got it out of the box. Everything seems to be in good working order. Um, there's a couple things that I already got. I got I did order the Surly racks, the rear rack and the front rack. Haven't put the front rack on because I wanted to ride it um, with just the rear rack on it, just to kind of get an idea. I put flat pedals on it. I'm not gonna go with clip-ins. And I put two water bottle cages. Haven't taped the bars yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay with the three by. I really would rather have a two by which means I'm gonna to have to change out the shifters. And I'm not sure if this stem needs to be longer. So that's like my first kind of test ride. Okay, well the next step is to figure out which panniers and bags I'm gonna get. Everyone in all the stuff I've been reading about says you gotta have like a front bag and panniers. And there's a ton of panniers out there and there's a ton of bags. There's a bunch of front bags, and I don't. We're, we're we are a track dealer, so and we can get from J and B, and we can get from quality. And I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on which panniers I want to get, and which bags I want to get. And the, also the other thing is that I need to find like a pump, like a pump, a hand pump that goes on the bike. So those are all the things that the next probably video is probably gonna be about panniers and bags, which I gotta do a lot of research because there's a lot of new information and stuff out there. So have fun. All right guys, and don't forget, go biking. <laughs>